these are the next thing after the ship 9500s the ship 9600s the long awaited successor to the ship 9500s and i don't think they are they're very different beasts now before before we get further into the review i will just start with a disclaimer that i bought these second hand from some guy on tokopedia uh, which is a local marketplace i'm not affiliated with any brand or any store so this review is completely of my own opinion so now the ship 9600s in a nutshell is more of a feature headphone and with I would say on par if not better technicalities than the ship 9500s they resolve most of the issues i had with the ship 9500s and i would say overall they sound more pleasing but they're not they're not an upgrade from the ship 9500s i believe they are quite a bit different so if you're expecting ship 9500 sounds with better technicalities i think you'll be a bit disappointed now let's just get into the full review and let's just start with base like we usually do so the base of the ship 9600 are now more emphasized. There's a lift, a little lift in the sub base and the mid base. There's more mid base than there is sub base. And overall, I think the base speed I think is quite okay. Uh, sub base slam is definitely present. It, it doesn't extend too low though. The sub base I think starts to roll off at around 50, 60 hertz ish, um, and that's kind of to be expected from an uh, open back dynamic headphone. Um, but sub bass slam is surprisingly still satisfying. Uh, mid bass I think also packs in quite a good punch or kick. It I don't think it's it's too big. I think it's but it's still enough for EDM and such. But if you're a very heavy bass head, I think these will not suit you. Um, but they are definitely uh, uh, emphasized, not overemphasized. Um, and I think overall, I think for EDM and such. Anything that requires any amount of bass, I think these will do the job just quite well. Um, overall speed isn't the fastest. I think these are a bit more on the medium to slightly slow side. Um, they don't fall behind too easily though. Um, but if you listen to faster paced music, especially something like Dragon Force, these will definitely fall behind. And uh, aside from that, they also have a bit of mid bass bleed into the mid range, which is what we're going to be talking about next. Now, that bleed that came from the bass kind of bleeds a little tiny bit into the mid-range. It doesn't really offend my ears, uh, so it's it's not really big of a problem. Um, overall, the mid-range, I think, is quite thick. Uh, notes are a bit on the medium to thick-ish side. Um, vocals also sound quite... Uh, they have quite the body. I think male vocals are, are quite uh, full-bodied. Um, I quite like these for male vocals actually. Um, female vocals are a bit, they sound a bit hollow sometimes. So quite surprisingly, um, which is kind of odd to me. Um, and I would say actually overall the mid-range takes a step back over the whole pr uh, representation of the sound in the ship 9600s. Um, it's more of a V-shaped headphone and that's, yeah, that's just one of the caveats of that. Um, Overall, in the mid-range, I think separation and detail is quite good. Aside from that, quite whole upper mid-range. I think there's not a lot of things I would like to complain about in the mid-range. I think it, uh, it does, there's no definite like harshness or peaks that I can uh, feel in the mid-range. So, yeah. Now, when we go to treble, which is the section which I had the most trouble with in the ship 9500s, which were the predecessor to the ship 9600s. The ship 9600s have a smoother treble response. Extension is still around the same. Uh, they start dying off at about like 13k base of my ears. Uh, I can't hear anything above 17k so I don't know if they extend way further than that. Um, but overall detail retrieval I think is still on par. It is not harsh like the ship 9500s treble which is really nice. Um, and I think overall they're quite a solid headphone. Uh, sound wise and like treble cymbal splashes sibilance i think they're all they're all just fine there there's 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 no exaggeration happening in the ship 9600s so yeah if you did like how the ship 9500s were a bit more uh the over uh, they emphasized the sibilance and a bit of harshness in the treble 
I don't think you like the ship 9600s. Yeah. Now, when we're talking about soundstage and imaging, which unfortunately I don't have the usual images that I do, or wait, no, I actually do have them. Right. If this were my head, on a ship 9600s, I think the soundstage overall feels a bit more wide than they do feel deep. Uh, because their headphones and open back, they naturally sound like they are outside of your head. Sound doesn't get crammed into your head like closed back headphones sometimes do, or IEMs. I think they feel a bit more wide than they do deep. Uh, depth of the sound, I think, is still quite good, but it doesn't really go outside of my head for some reason. It's more wide than it is deep. Um, it definitely feels around about the same with uh, like the ship 9500s they, they just feel a bit more closed in than the ship 9500s because the 9500s used to have a bit more a bit more treble in contrast to the bass so i think that's mostly why the soundstage feels a bit closer um imaging i think is still quite good like the ship 9500s there's no issues there i think i'm able to perceive sounds with an accuracy of like 40 to 45 ish degrees so that's quite good now, let's just go quickly over the build quality and overall packaging whatsoever that you get in the box. So, the ship 9600, like the 9500s, they come in a very simple box, which is fine by me. They come in this, like, well, box that just fits the headphones. There's nothing m much in there you don't get any case or whatsoever you get this sort of like uh, hold on let me just pull this out ah oh, jeez you get this sort of pouch thing um, which feels very cheap this feels like it's made out of 10 cent material but I'm not gonna complain much because I barely use these I, I barely carry the ship 9600s with me anywhere uh, i mean you're, you're not going to be using those anywhere in public because they're open back or so there's no noise isolation whatsoever so everyone will be able to hear what you're listening to and you'll be able to listen to whatever other people are listening to which is not usually what you want to do with headphones um the ship 9600s come with two cables uh the ship 9500s if i recall correctly they only came with one cable um at least I only had one cable. I don't know if they had a revision. I think there was a ship 9500S, but I think that came with a shorter cable um, instead of two cables. But I, I don't remember exactly. But these come with two cables. This is this is this one cable is a mobile cable. It has a microphone in it. Uh, the microphone I think works okay. It's it it's not it's not the best thing in the world, but at least you have a. I mean you have a. Uh, microphone if you need it and you have this volume slider and a multifunction button uh, and you also get this very long like three meter cable which is kind of springy it's it's not it's not the best thing in the world it's it's kind of springy and I think you also get you you also get a 6.3 mil adapter which I've lost somewhere it's somewhere in the box don't know where it is uh, but you also get a 6.3 mil adapter uh, this cable is quite springy. It's it, it just goes everywhere. It's very long. It's three meters long. I don't know why they wanted to include a three meter cable. Um, probably if you're watching TV, maybe you can use these. I guess. Um, yeah, they're quite springy, quite microphonic, quite thick. I think overall th these will do the job, but they will not be comfortable. I think you'll you uh, you do yourself a good uh, a favor by getting like better aftermarket cables and the uh, mobile cable is also coated in some sort of like I don't know what these are this is some sort of like nylon braid I suppose um, they're a bit microphonic they feel a bit more supple than the uh, than the cable they're less springy definitely uh, they're less microphonic although they have a microphone um, yeah they, they, they do its job I mean there's, there's not a lot of things I can comment about these cables they're not great but they do the job and for a headphone that costs just around about a hundred bucks i'm not gonna complain much now build quality though about the ship 9600s build quality it's 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 kind of rattly like 
but that's just because I'm rattling it quite heavily. Um, it also creaks sometimes, so when you're wearing these, sometimes when I'm listening to just music, I'm just getting into it, and then sometimes it just it just starts creaking for some reason. Um, the adjustment, they, they, they are quite loose, like, they don't feel as, they don't feel great, there's quite a bit, the tolerance isn't that uh, that great in the build quality of Ship 9600, everything just feels a bit loose, I don't think they feel that cheap, but I'll just let you know that whenever you're listening to these, I think they'll, they'll just creak at the most random times. And that's that's just pretty much most of my experience with the ship 9600s. They're quite comfortable, which I which I give them that. The ship 9600s with my head, which is uh, I I am an L sized L or XL sized Asian helmet, a motorcycle helmet, uh, and I think on the four uh, four to five setting, my head fits quite well. These extend all the way, all well up up to six ish, and yeah, I think they do. They do have quite a range of, I mean, headband sizes. I mean, I don't. I, I think if you have a way bigger head than I do, if you're a, like double XL, triple XL motorcycle size helmet, I don't think you'll fit. I don't think this will fit quite well. But I don't have anyone who ha wears helmets that big of a size, so I can't. Uh, I can't really check on that. Overall comfort on the Ship 9600 is ex exceptionally great. The pads are made of this sort of like mesh material the headband is also a very soft mesh material i think these are probably one of the most comfortable headphones i've ever used they're also very light they're like only, uh, only around 300 ish grams um they don't really have a lot of clamp force which might be a downside if you like to headbang a lot when you're listening to music uh, these will just go all over the place on your head but otherwise i think for a uh, long-term comfort these are quite nice Okay, so we'll just run down a quick comparison with the Ship 9500s. We'll just go through it again once. The Ship 9500s have less base. Um, base speed on the Ship 9500s was a bit faster than the Ship 9600s. They also have a lit, um, li um, less base bleed uh, than the Ship 9600s. The mid-range of the Ship 9500s feel a bit more forward than the Ship 9600s, but the Ship 9500s have less body in the mids than the Ship 9600s. Uh, the sh ship 9600s also have a smoother mid-range and smoother treble than the ship 9500s. And overall, uh, treble I think is smoother in the well ship 9600s and just a bit more refined overall. I would say. Um, I think they're completely different beasts. I think the ship 9600 is more of a uh, all-round open back dynamic headphone that you can just enjoy with pretty much all music. Female vocals can sometimes sound hollow compared to the ship 9600s. Um, so if you listen to a lot of female vocals, I think you'd want to do yourself a favor by just listening to the ship 9600s first uh, to determine whether or not you're fine with that. They take a like they take a bit step back in the mids also compared to the ship 9500s. So if you're expecting a ship 9500 on steroids with like better technicalities, these are not it. I think uh, they complement each other quite well. I think if you want more of a neutral-ish headphones, you would get the Ship 9500s. If you want a bit more fun, you would get the Ship 9600s. Design also looks quite... I, would, I mean, I prefer the designs on these, but I think um, when you're very sleepy at night, it's kind of hard to determine where, where it's left and right because you no longer have those LR, LR markings on these headphones and the markings are now inside the headband here. So, yeah. Well, except you can probably tell it from the cable, but... Yeah. Anyway, aside from that, uh, I've also done a comparison with the HE400SEs, uh, but I'll just remind you again. The HE400SEs, I think they have just... The HE400SEs have slightly better technicalities. Uh, the base f should extend better on the HE400SEs, but the uh, sub base of the Ship 9600 just feel more present, so they feel like they extend better. Uh, the base and the Ship 9600 are slower than the HE400SEs. The HE400SEs have faster base, they have more forward mid-range, and 
uh, but the treble on the HE400 SE I think is a bit uh, harsher than the SHIP9600 and there's uh, definitely less treble on the SHIP9600 compared to the HE400 SEs. So yeah. Um, comfort overall, I think it's also better on the HE, uh, not HE, uh, the SHIP 9600s, the HE 400 SEs have a horrible headband, the worst, one of the worst headbands I've ever used in a headphone, and I think that pretty much sums it all up. I don't have any other comparisons as for headphones in this price range currently, uh, most of my headphones are like second-hand headphones in this price range, but I don't think that would be a good comparison. Um, but yeah, I think take my comparison of the SHIP 9500s and compare it to all the other SHIP 9500 reviews, I think you'll get quite a, you'll get quite get some insight on what the SHIP 9600s will sound like. Alright, I think that's pretty much for this review. Thanks for watching, like if you liked it, comment what you think, and see you next time. I'll leave what Brian thinks at the end of this video. Bye.